Hello, this is Sean, and this is uh, video number two of the 1998 Acura Integra build, or project, however you want to say it. And today we're going to be jumping straight into the engine, um, which is probably the part that needs the most work out of anything on this car. But if you'd like to see everything that's wrong with it, or at least everything that I could think of at the time, go back and watch video one to see where we're at. But today we're going to be doing a compression test. Um, and the purpose of me doing this is to see if I need a head gasket or not. So, this is either going to be a, a good day or it's going to end with me having a really bad day. We'll just have to see. But, um, as for why I think I need to do this to see if the head gasket's any good is because there are literal pools of oil down there and I mean I know the valve cover shot but it never hurts to check um, I don't really have any other symptoms you know no no oil in the coolant um, no coolant in the oil for that matter no white smoke yeah, it's pretty green in there um, but you know I, I think it's just a good thing to do to see how healthy this engine is or to really see how healthy its its gaskets and seals are so we're just gonna have to dive straight in. So the first step is to uh, pop out the coils and spark plugs, which uh, let's see. Well, actually, I was expecting a bit more oil to come out with it. So not too bad. So far, so good, I guess. All right, next the uh, the spark plugs gotta come out. There we go. All right, so honestly, I thought it'd be a little bit darker, but you can see there's a lot of oil coming off of it. Another good indication that the valve cover is in fact shot which you know I, I kinda knew already but ooh yeah pretty dark pretty dark alright on to the next ones Just one yet. Number four. Ooh, again, very, very burnt around this area here. But the actual, what electro doesn't look all that bad. But a lot of oil. And all four of them really. Oh, oil! Oh, oil dripping all over. So, ooh, definitely in need of a valve cover. All right. Once you've got all the uh, spark plugs out, we come down here to the distributor, and we're gonna disconnect this so that we're not getting any spark. All right. And the last thing we're gonna disconnect is under here in the fuse panel pop that off come under here and I'm looking for middle row third in so I believe it is 15 blue yeah right there throw that out there we go all right, and the next step is to connect this into that. All right, now I've got this end of it threaded down into where the spark plug would go. And I'm going to set it up so that we can uh, watch and see how much pressure we get while I go crank the car.
All right, I've got it hooked up to cylinder number two now. So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing basically. So clutch all the way in, key in the ignition, turn it to, you know, accessories first. And then you want the gas, well, make sure it's in neutral, of course, but make sure the gas pedal is all the way to the floor, wide open throttle, and then just give it a couple times so I'm holding it. Just did the compression test on each of the cylinders and uh, number one is 145, number two is 145, number three is 145, and number four uh, came out at 140. And uh, what this tells me is uh, it's good and bad. The good would be I don't think I need a head gasket. Um, the What I was looking for would be say if this one was 150, 150 and the middle two were 120. It would mean that you know the head gasket is bad and it probably failed about right there so i was i was more looking for an abnormal distribution between them um so it's good it doesn't mean i need a head gasket but they they are pretty low um i believe they're supposed to come at about 190 they're supposed to you know from the factory they come at about 190 and about the minimum you should be running is 135 so i am pushing it pretty close um, you know like I said it's it's not it's good news overall it's good news um, but it's it shows that this engine is worn and it it's definitely taken a beating and it's it's uh, it's probably got bad piston rings or worn piston rings or other components like that but it is still a good engine it's it doesn't need a head gasket which was obviously my main concern so I'm gonna take this as a win and uh, now the process is putting all this stuff back so it can run again and uh, let's hope that goes well I'm gonna start that process by coming back under here and putting my fuse back in so let's, let's get under here oh, all right so we've got our 15 going back in uh, feels like it's in there pretty good I'm gonna Gonna say that looks nice. Next, we're gonna come back around here and uh, plug our distributor back in. See if we can do that one-handed. Well, that sounded like a good click to me. All right, and the last step is gonna be putting the spark plugs and then the ignition wires back on. And then you're gonna have to put the coils back in and uh, the order does matter which is why I have mine uh, kind of lined up here in the order they go back in so make sure you uh, you know which go way they go back in all right so it's all closed up I got everything plugged back in got the fuse back in and uh, one other thing I normally when you would do this um, taking any of those out, especially with how bad those spark plugs look. You know, when you're putting them back in, it's probably a good idea just to change them. Um, in my case, uh, I actually did not buy spark plugs. I reuse the ones that I took out. And that's because, now that I know the head gasket's alright, the next thing I'm going to do is a valve cover. So, next video I'm probably going to have to take them all out again anyway. So I figure I might as well make sure that my head gasket's alright before I go out and buy a bunch of spark plugs and before I spend a bunch of money, I better make sure it's good. So that's the reason I didn't change the spark plugs. Um, now we just gotta see if it runs. Thank you for watching part two of the Acura Integra project. I'd say it was a successful day 
and uh, now that we know I don't need a head gasket so thank you for watching